and I learned about it, I was fascinated. That that business has been around for over a hundred years, and it has been growing and growing and growing with better technology. And in Africa, it's still not uh, understood. Across Africa, it's still it's still not as as developed as way it is in Italy or UK or America for that case. When I was in London, sitting in Leicester Square, I had a aha moment in a space like this, let's assume this is a garden. Uh, in a garden like this, there's a parlor to your east, to your west, to your south, to your north, and there is queues across the whole, the whole parlor, the pool of queues, and I saw different concepts of gelato. One does fruit only, one does yogurt, one does uh, the creamy base, and one does the whole mix. And I was like, this should be home. We have all these things, we have fruits, we have milk, we have spices, we have best everything. This should be happening home. And um, the motivation also came from when we were little, I used to, we used to keep cows. And I used to milk, I used to milk a cow and sell the milk. But when mom goes to work, I'll take a little bit, boil it, and stir some sugar in it, freeze it. Later in the evening, I'll have it before she comes back. That's, <laughs> I guess the ice cream story for me started a long time ago <laughs> without me being aware of it. And then, in that case, uh, I, I decided I want to do this. I want to go in there and do it full time and do it as, as to much of my ability. And then, coming home and learning before and uh, knowing what is required to start a gelato business, it requires 100,000 USD to 200,000 to have a proper gelato shop. So, here I am with my beautiful business plan. It's exciting. The business plan says I'll be a billionaire in two years. Amazing stuff. With my business plan, I went to the bank. So I come with the attitude from UK, you know? My tutor, my lecturer, told me, lecturers, God bless you. I, <laughs> you know, with your business plan, you get money, you get business. That's all. And then my lecturer there, he doesn't know the African environment. So I learned here, I go, that business plan, you know, I break down the 200,000 USD and everything. Then I go to the bank, they tell me, you need a house, land, three years, big state bank statement. This thing is called collateral. I'm like, what? I have none of those. Go take your mother's one. I'm like, no, mm -mm. I can't. You know, they, you know, if you're desperate or looking just for the money, you'll put your family property and then you'll get in trouble. The three years bank statement, there's nothing you can quick fix. I said, uh, that means I have to start doing it now. So in that case, I started small. I said, to build that three year bank statement, I need to do it now. What the banker told me is like, you just bring in even it's a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, but build those three years. And I figured to build those three years, I have to start doing it now so that I get to three years because I can't wait for three years to happen in the same year. So I started. That's when I started with a small machine, makes one liter per one liter per two hours. I do that. I bring the ice cream after work. I deliver it to different office. I'll make the ice cream at night, post it on Instagram. Someone says I want it. Then the next morning, during break at work, when I was working at the bank, I carry my box across town, deliver the ice cream at NBC, and it'd be somewhere at someone's office has placed an order. And I'll sell like five liters. That's it. And then. Tonight again, I do it again, and the whole cycle went on. And then with time, because I was passionate and driven, all I'm seeing is a gelato shop. That's all I see. Everything else that comes in the middle there, I'm like, will this get me to that place where I'm going? I then decided to, I met someone. You know, when you put your mind into something and your plan is to do it, things come your way. Does that make sense to you? Somehow things come your way. I came across someone who has the machine sitting there, not using it. I asked to fix it and use it. They said, okay, because they didn't see use for it, they were very okay to give it away because they were not using it and just collecting dust. And then I started collecting bars. Because when I started, I started BBA marketing. So I was a good marketer. Then they noticed, hey, she's famous. <laughs> By the time I was using the machine, I got interviewed with the BBC and CNN. The fascination was how I make use of what I have and make it work. Then they got the story. They said, uh, you know, I think we want our machine back. Whew, I've had lows. They took the machine in very short notice. 
and I didn't have production for a while. Uh, that was happy days. By then, I'm already supplying Maya, Serena, South and Sun, um, all six star restaurants, Sleepway, uh, the Bay, different restaurants. I'm part of their menu. Somebody else showed up. They have a complete facility kitchen with machines and everything, but no one is using them. The place has been shut down for over six years. I walk in there, I clean up the place full of dust and everything. And it was used to be an old gelato shop, long, like 10, 15 years ago. Many people used to go there. It came to life. Um, I worked in it and in the process I was doing a lot and trying to market it a lot because it was a little bit out of the way for many people. For people to come to my shop, they come out of love, really. It's out of the way. I know many of you tried and thank you. <laughs> So, nine years in the shop, that was last year. The, land, the person who owns the whole facility calls me and say, I'm my place, get out in three days. I was chased like a dog. I had that shock. Ah, man. In the process, that's not, that was the major blow, who, which could have made me go, you know what, forget it, forget this ice cream. I am going back to get employed. I'd rather go back and be employed. But... I've had many blows. By then, I'm having that blow. I've already opened, tried different outlets with different places for like seven times. Thank God, last year, uh, corporate companies that see opportunities and see entrepreneurs, such as Total Startup of the Year, I got uh, an award that enabled me to buy my own machinery. <laughs> During that blow last year, one thing that I decided to do is like, you know what? I want as many Tanzanians to know how to make ice cream as possible. And I started my ice cream class out of that moment. Uh, in November, I started my first class and so far I've taught up to 60 people how to make ice cream. Thank you. And I've come to learn many had that dream, but they don't know how. When they look at the bigger player, they just go, forget it. You will never get there. And when they look to the other players they see, there are people who have access to money, there are people who, you know, telling them 100,000 USD is not a problem. Their kitchens are state of art. But then what I do is I make it a Tanzanian way. With the Chinese machines we have, I show them how to mix it and how to make it using the tools we have until one day we get to the kitchens we dream of. By sharing the knowledge, what I tend to do is to is to have a, a market where I understand it's vibrant about ice cream so that we compete. And now it's no longer about vanilla, strawberry, chocolate. It's who makes the best passion ice cream, who makes the best fenetti ice cream. That's what, where we should be. Networking is important. Don't hesitate to network because you don't know the people. You don't know, you say you're not known, you don't have a name. No, you don't. I've reached out to so many people. When I met my first chef, I walked in with my sample, shook my hand, and say, my name is Mercy Tomari. I make the best gelato in Tanzania. So networking is your confidence and your product. And as an entrepreneur, I've learned, you will fall. Or you will fall. You will fall, you will fall, you will fall. But make sure when you fall, there's a lance, there's a soft landing. Don't fall on concrete, you'll fall apart. You won't be able to be together. But fall on the land soft landing, and a nice cushion. Cry a little bit, next day you'll be okay. So know in your head you will fall. So don't when you fall, don't panic, but accept the fall and then carry on. But the fall will always be there. How you pick yourself up, it's what matters. But when you fall apart, coming back is really hard. And lastly, do it to serve the people. If I could, I'll give gelato for free. If it wasn't only expensive to make, I'll literally, I'll give gelato for free, literally. But then I need to make it again tomorrow, so you have to pay for it. But otherwise, I love what I do. Thank you.